15 minutes at a time, then another, then it might stop, another 20 minutes at a time. It was a war zone. It was gunpowder. And I have never experienced nothing like that in my life. Right now, we find the barrage of gunfire on the streets of Jersey City. Gunmen open fire on police in a wild shootout, killing one officer and injuring several others. An officer has been shot in the head in Jersey City. We know at least four other people have been injured as well. Our New York station WNBC reports there were two shooters and both are down. Few other details are known, but multiple SWAT teams are on the scene. And we're also told a dozen school campuses are currently on lockdown. We will keep you updated as we learn more. The shooting spanning two locations, including a kosher grocery store where at least five other people are dead tonight. A massive police response on the scene right now, still unfolding at this hour. Police say two gunmen have been killed inside the grocery store. Three innocent bystanders also dead inside that store. The Jersey City mayor says there are casualties, including a police officer. Two officers were shot. Um, one recently gave his life uh, and was pronounced at the Jersey City Medical Center. And uh, the second officer uh, was shot in the shoulder and uh, he should recover. And then two other officers are uh, receiving medical treatment due to uh, shrapnel. Mayor Stephen Fulop says there were two incidents but did not elaborate. One at a cemetery, the other in a grocery store. Sources tell CBS2 at least four people were found dead in the store, including victims and the shooters. The incident began in Bayview Cemetery a few minutes away. Officers were told thought two individuals were suspicious and engaged them. The suspects, sources say, shot at cops, then got into a U-Haul and drove to the grocery store. All afternoon, police helicopters, drones, canines, SWAT teams, ATF, Jersey City police officers, and members of the NYPD worked the area evacuating people, closing roads, and locking down schools. The NYPD bomb squad and ESU are on scene as a precaution, we're told, to check for possible explosive devices. When officials were asked what was behind the incident, Mayor Phillip, is this terrorism? There's no indication of that.
Come uh-huh. 